you mentioned that you look for people who are good communicators. What do you think makes a good communicator? Well, I think, you know, you just have to have that innate quality. I think when we've interviewed people to come be a part of the Philly Pretzel Factory family, mm -hmm. that we realize that we want to talk to them and, and know that they're a people person. And they could they talk to other people in a good manner and feel like they're in there and the employees want to work for them. And communication is a two-way street. So it's not just talking to them, it's listening to them. Yeah. And I think that's something you come through the interview process that we have with every franchisee that comes into our system. We have a pretty thorough interview process and we want to make sure that we keep hearing the word communication. And not only do they talk to us, but they listen to us as well. And mm -hmm. following the system is really the case where those people that could communicate well typically follow systems well. That's interesting. What, what do you think is the correlation of communicating well and following a system well? Well, I think it's just open dialogue and mm -hmm. just people that had that type of personality to be able to be in a franchise community. They're, they really are hiring us. We're almost consultants, if you will. I mean, that's really what franchisors, we're giving them knowledge. And yeah. for them, that's, again, communication. But yeah. when we give them that knowledge, we have to make sure they follow in a process and understand not to be a rogue franchisee. And back on the Undercover Boss, we, we had one incident where the franchisee was doing something that he's not supposed to be. And again, probably you know a little bit on our part, how to communicate better, the process. Uh -huh. We weren't doing a great job with it. Um, yeah. And that franchisee then went on and did his own thing. So I think um, we could have done a better job. And you know we put better systems in place to make it simpler for them to come with a product idea, because that's what that franchisee had, a product idea. Um, we had it made it so complicated to reach out to us, to present that idea, that it probably uh, hurt us. And he said, you know what, that's too much paperwork. I just am gonna do it my own way, and I'm yeah. gonna do it. And ultimately, it's not what we're looking to have in our system, because if, you know, he's a great guy, the gentleman was doing that, but ultimately, we have to have systems in place to protect the other franchisees. Mm -hmm. And am I correct in understanding that Ultimately, you did do something with that idea, or a version of that product that he had. Yes. Which yeah. was a, like a, a pretzel dough bun, yep. I guess, in yeah, <laughs> by yeah. layman's so, description. <laughs> yeah, well, one thing we got out of this show was a lot of people were interested in the product. We got a lot of feedback said, you know what? I know he wasn't supposed to be doing that product, but it's a, it sounds like a great product. I would buy <laughs> one of those. So we obviously heard the customer, and the customer said they wanted that product. So we decided to work on the product. We tweaked it a little bit. We uh -huh. found it a little bit easier way to make it. We thought it was a better taste to it as well. Um, but it really came from his idea, and we did roll it out system-wide, and it's in all our stores currently. Yeah, yeah. it's terrific. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah.